Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, how do I know if this thing works? Turn it on and try. Does this work? Yes. We move one of them for over here. We move one of them. I would say we can move one of them. Yeah, just move on. Or Yeah, I'm not here in a Yeah, I'm not talking about it. 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 Yeah, I'm did I do that? No. I'll grab that. You grab that. You can't pull that white one. Yeah, I think that it is. I knew. This chair. You don't want maybe don't want anybody sitting on that side. We can put it right on the other side. We can do that. We can put it right on the other side. Well, we can put it on the other side because it's really bunched up by that by the thing.
I would put that last thing further out that way. Like, like the other one again. Or maybe we'll see more towards people can click here. falling down hang on yeah. well the whole thing fell over so it's not even anymore i know and this thing doesn't sit evenly on here anyway it doesn't because every it like uh, comes up right here so it doesn't sit right got it yeah. good to know i didn't know any of these things i'm sweating yeah why is it being a <laughs> Yeah. Did you? All right, well, soon. It's good. Ah, it's good. It's good. So far. <laughs>
Okay. 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 Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to be able to do I think I got it really great. It looks great. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
Yeah, I'm like uh, the last minute. I'm like, first thing I need to There's like one in August and one late July. Yeah, she's or like July 17th as in late. Like, I was just like, ah, when I saw the last email. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to start our first meeting of the Rotary Year. All right. So today is Tuesday, July 9th, and it's our first Rotary meeting of the Magic Rotary Year. <laughs> and you are here for to celebrate the magic of rotary meetings. You're gonna learn about all the things that are gonna happen this year, including our club goals and different projects and things we're gonna work on. So a few business things. Um, all of our meetings are recorded, and you can find them if you scan the little code. You can say how we go. Is that supposed to be the moment? Okay, got it. All right, next. If you can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, I pledge allegiance to the of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so starting first, um, do we have any visitors and guests? Yes, we do. So we have a couple visiting Rotarians. We got Monica and C. Holman, and I think they will be doing an announcement shortly after this. Um, and then we have a couple guests with us, Aaliyah Hendrickson. If you would please stand and uh, tell us about where you work, what you do, and then what's your most favorite thing about summer? Uh, I I'm here today. I am the funding director, so I just want to take over for the after the work. Uh, so we're going to go to the end. Very nice. And then we have Jamie Oberg. 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 Jane, please stand and tell us a little bit about our summary work. So I work at Benedictine Assistant. I am the housing director for the assisted living. My no school drop off. Nice. Well, thank you for visiting and thank you for joining us today. You're there? Me. <laughs> Okay, me again. Um, welcome to virtual guests. Who do we have on there? Marissa? Larry, Larry, Bill, and Andy. Larry, Bill, and Andy. Perfect. <laughs> All right, another order of business. If you're going to make announcements, just be, come up to the front, grab this cool microphone, and kind of speak to this little cool owl so we can hear you. 
Um, coming up for birthdays, uh, we have Brandon Harris, who just celebrated a birthday. Neil on July 12th. Rachel on uh, July 16th. Sammy coming up. And then Phil and Spencer at the end of July. Okay, for our rotary anniversaries, we have a couple. Um, Caitlin Doyle for five years. Sammy, one year. It's pretty cool. Ashley with nine years. And Larry with six years. All right, so we're going to start something new um, for these meetings, and it's going to be called Meet Our Members. So at each table, you're going to talk amongst yourself with a question of the night, just to kind of get to know each other better. Um, if you're at a table with only a few people, join in to someone else's table, possibly Laura to come with her children. <laughs> um, so you're going to have about five minutes, and then you can look at the flyer on the table with all of the Rotary events, upcoming things, um, sign up for things using the QR codes, and then once that is done, we're going to share a little bit of what we learned at your table. So the first question for the night, as we just discussed, is what do you do for your 4th of July weekend? So chat amongst yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Good. I'm going to pretty share what you learned just to be here what other people did over the weekend. So, Neil, can you tell us what someone at your table did for the board? Neil. Got it. Thank you. Um, Nathan helped volunteer at Fire Director for Yeah. Yep. And so then uh, Eileen did uh, attended the fireworks. <laughs> Indulge a little bit. The fire I didn't like. Anyone else? How about Alyssa? Did you do cool house projects? I was keeping home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Went up to see my sister, and this weekend we had a couple birthday parties, lots of water activities, and we did the zoo. So yeah, every meeting we're going to try to do this just to kind of get to know all the people and there'll be some meetings where I'm going to mix you up so you're not going to sit by people you know or your friends. So that'll be something that'll be happening. All right, so if you have any announcements, um, please come to the front. I know. Monica? All right. Thank you. I'm going to pass out some rat cards. Do you want me to shine them? That would be fantastic. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about the cool town of La Crescent. Um, one of the one of our main fundraisers is called the Apple Blossom Bike Tour, and it is 11 years strong. Um, and it is happening August 10th. Um, if we raise money for Rotary Polio Plus, and we've also partnered with two. Uh, scholarship funds. One of them is the Aaron Dunlap Matthews Scholarship Fund. The other, which is close to my heart, the Living for Liz Scholarship Fund. Um, Living for Liz was a nonprofit, and we just recently transitioned our uh, the balance of our proceeds into an awesome scholarship program for our nursing students. So um, we're very proud of that. And uh, the ride usually pulls in about a hundred riders. Uh, one year we had um, Greg Lamond riding with us through a connection of my husband. And that was in uh, 2016, I think it was. We pulled in a lot of riders that year, as you can imagine, but we um, were always wanting to, we would love to cap it off at 500. You know? <laughs> just, just being able to spread the word. Um, and, uh, it is this year, well, there are, uh, I think, six different trails. Um, there's rides for every skill level. It's $55 registration, and that includes lunch afterwards and music in the park. Uh, a really cool pair of socks, like the socks I brought them along. We try to do up different colors every year. And this is obviously, uh, these are the rotary colors, so it's pretty awesome. Um, so it is, no, I'm going to knock on as much wood as I can, but it has not rained since I've been involved with it. Um, this year, I don't know, but it is, uh, because of pre-registration, it's considered a rain or shine event. Um, we take off in the Crescent and, uh, behind Time Out Tavern, and the, the the routes are just amazing, picturesque, and they're just gorgeous. I can't say enough about them. Um, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, but there's a free family five-mile ride that goes across our new bridge under the Lake Mill Trail, which should be driving in. Um, the other ones, the routes are 14, 29, 52, 60, and 74 miles. So, yeah. And they go up at the Blossom Drive, they go to Houston Nature Center, they go to uh, Dakota, Nogine, and you can imagine the scenery. Um, some of them are a bit challenging, but I'm sure you all have electric bikes, right? <laughs> but I think that's it. I just wanted to promote this. There's plenty of time to sign up. We'd love to see some faces there. And um, there's also a donate button if you choose to donate to one of the causes. Look at the website. We have a new website this year. Um, yeah, the community really gets behind this as well. So thank you for your time. Um, I'll hand this back over. Yeah, I'm so sure I don't have
private page and our agenda just to make sure that and can look at on there too. Okay. Well, Anyone else have announcements? <laughs> all right. Nope. Got to here all the way. Yep. I just wanted to say I found some hats in the basement. So if anyone's going to the game next week, um, hit us up for a hat, a rotary hat. If you want to wear one to the game. Anyone else? Tuesday. So if you want to go, um, it's $35 for adults, 50 for kids. Normally it's 45 for adults, but their social budget is covering some. We have our own private deck. You get some big ears, all you can eat food. Um, it should be great. Also, you get a hat and a koozie, so I'm the first person sent up for a group. So you get lots of cool stuff for $35. Um, our avenues of service will be coming up in August. So that's where all of our um, Rotarian of the Year nominee, nominees get recognized, and our Rising Star, which is not here, Brad. Um, but if you want to sign up, we do have two tables that we try to fill with people from our club. Um, usually it's really fun. There's like auction and basket items. Uh, they kind of go over each what club did throughout the year. So it's actually kind of a fun time. Um, we are discounting it to $40 per member versus 50, just kind of a little incentive to get people to come. Do you have a question? Where could you sign up? You can sign up online. Uh, if you even click on your cool flyer in the middle, it goes right to our club website. So goes to our club website, our YouTube page, and our Facebook. So sign up is really easy. Okay, mini masters. This is going to be the 11th annual. Um, so I'm going to start passing out. This lovely look at the board because I need some help. So this has a whole list of all different businesses and past sponsors. And what I would really love is if everyone could help. Um, even if you know one business or someone who's a sponsor, say they're going to get your hair cut, ask for, hey, would you do a gift certificate? Um, we have a whole bunch of great businesses that support us. Um, so if you need a pen, go in your little magic bag there's pen and paper and note cards and flyers and business cards to hand out. So there's no reason that you can't spread the wealth and share your magic rotary and sign up for the mid, yeah, mini masters. Um, so we are still looking for teams. Um, two to four are for $120. Typically we have two time slots and about 30 teams. So we're kind of hoping for the same. Um, so more of that will be passed around at the next couple of meetings. Um, and then finally, uh, one more kind of thanks to our new incoming board uh, who started July 1st. So that's myself as president, Neil, president elect, Phil, past president, Sammy, Sergeant Arms, super good at technology. Uh, directors are Danny and Nathan, Lisa, director three year, our treasurer Lori, uh, Brad is a treasurer elect, secretary Alicia, and secretary elect Joe. Um, we will have our first board meeting on the 30th. Typically, they're the third Tuesday every month, but I had a conflict. So, coming here, um, anyone's welcome to come to a board meeting. Just so you know, it doesn't have to be just about board members unless it's a private session. So, if you want to learn more and if you're curious to get on the board next year, you can always come and check it out. Okay, so now here is the main presentation. <laughs> which might be kind of fun and exciting for some and really love me. So uh, the theme this year is the magic of Rotary. Uh, you might have read some of the things in your Rotary magazine or seen stuff posted on our district website, uh, but it's supposed to be a very fun and engaging and exciting year. So I think that is perfect for what I want to do. So just a few things. Um, this is President Stephanie Urchek, and she uh, is the Rotary International President for this year. 
Uh, I'm going to link tonight a video that she did in Singapore, uh, basically covering all the things that she's going to do over the next year. Um, just a few highlights. I was kind of playing a song that simply is a civil song, but we're working on technology here. That the song was played throughout the whole convention. Um, she wants it to be fun and exciting. Um, so she wants every club to be simply irresistible. That you know, no matter who is in it, that you know you're irreplaceable, that you belong, and that you found a group of people that are like-minded. Um, belonging is the magic of Rotary. So making sure that everyone feels like they are part of our club is really important. Uh, we're also going to touch on the member experience and to you know see what new members are looking for, or even what current members like. How do they feel the meetings are? How do they feel the volunteer events are? What can we do to enhance member experience? Uh, they also really are pushing to kind of change up clubs with diversity and inclusion. Um, you know, where can we get different members of you know different professions, races? You know, we we are a, a network of people all over the world, and we kind of need to work on making sure that we do that locally as well. I'll talk a little bit more about the Rotary Action Plan, which is kind of going with our strategic plan. Uh, we, will, we will be doing a meeting with Marissa to catch up on that. And then finally, um, peace building is very important to Stephanie Urchuk. So I'm going to incorporate that into my year as well. And that's to kind of find ways to prevent and end conflict. So that's kind of what she talked about for a good solid 12 minutes. So to make you watch it, just leave the book notes. I don't know if anyone knows Rotary Vision, but here it is, that together we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe in our communities and in ourselves. So it kind of goes, together people create change, which is what we try to do every day. So that's really important to keep in mind. Um, my goals. So this took me a little bit just because I think we do so much in this club, like I kind of want to narrow down the things that are important to me personally to help our club achieve. So number one, I want to make it fun and make it magical. That's just going to be my theme. Uh, a lot of the programs I have are fun and engaging, and I want everyone to kind of learn new things about the Cross area. Um, membership growth is really important. Um, ever since COVID, things have kind of taken a downhill. I would like to help to make that go back up. So right now we're at 50 members. Um, I'm going to try to get up to 62. So that's 12 new members with no one leaving. So totally you, because then I work too. Um, but with all your help in bringing guests to different events, that should be really easy. We had a lot of members going last year, so one more person. Uh, number three, supporting the Rotary Foundation and doing some points match getting. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about that with Marissa and Dean with the Foundation Minute and just different ways that we can give so that we can do district grants and international grants. Um, I set my goals for pulling a plus at 2200. It's been 2000 for the last few years, so I'm only up in it a little bit. Um, and then our annual fund, I put it at $7,000. This past year, we had it at over 10. Um, we did have the alpaca breakfast. So I didn't want to be an overachiever, so we're just going to ride or go to 7,000, and if we go over, it'll be great. Uh, number four is connect with local Rotary clubs for spirit and social and grant projects. Uh, we've tried to do that a lot in the past few years. Uh, we have nine local clubs, and from going to pets and different other events, there's nowhere other than our area that gets along and works together. Um, you go to Chicago, there'll be five clubs within a 10-mile radius, and no one wants to work together. It's all to who they want to do things with by themselves. So I think that's really important that we capitalize that we have nine clubs, everyone is supportive of each other, and we invite them to our things and attend theirs. So that's a personal goal of mine too. Number five is to send two local high school students to Rila and work with Interact, and then also our project Europe. So kind of focusing on the young people. You know, they're our next generation of Rotarians. We don't have Rotaracts here. So the next best thing is to really put Rotary into their minds when they're in high school and in internet. Um, the Central Club has a huge group, which I was kind of shocked to see, but we need someone from our club kind of representing our club to have them come. And then we be great to invite them to some of our meetings. And then finally, um, kind of going with the Building on Peace is a Peace Pool project. Um, I just did something in Singapore where you worked with other clubs and did a Peace Pool project. We have the Garden project, so it kind of ties into that. So that's kind of what I'm looking at trying to incorporate. And then with all of us going on the Rotary Foundation changes, 
kind of working with the project in the near future with that. So those are my president goals kind of in the club and our team. So hopefully we can all work together to achieve some. All right, and then the main thing this year, um, I wanted to play on the, the theme of the Magic Rotary. I'm gonna do a lot of my programs, the Magic and Blue Cross. So when I was thinking about what to do, I thought, let's kind of tour around the city and see things that maybe not everyone has seen before. Um, our first offsite meeting is going to be at the Hickson House and the Historical um, Center, and we're going to do a tour of that and do a walking tour. Um, other things include a Rivoli tour and having our meeting there. Um, I'm looking at you know doing potential socials at some of the like, restaurants or Pearl Street Brewery. Uh, just kind of going around the city and just exploring it and seeing the magic that we have all around. Uh, so that's kind of how I'm going to tie in the theme with the programs. And a lot of them are family friendly, so that we can kind of touch on that as well, since a lot of us have children. All right, next up, another thing I want to do this year is a Rotary After Hours member of the month. So I was struggling how to do this because I didn't want to be like, all right, this is going to be the member of the month and like I pick it. So I don't really know magic, but I got some kind of magic under my little magic sheet over here. And if you look, I got a magic cat and a magic wand. So this is how we're going to pick the magic member of the month. So. If you know me, I like Vegas. <laughs> okay, so got some Vegas cards. I'm actually in Vegas soon, so we get another deck because I ran out of only 52. So everyone has their name on here. So I'm gonna put them all in my magic hat and then shuffle them all up. And someone is gonna pick the member of the month. Then I'm going to email them and say, can you tell me these questions? What's your profession? How many years have you been in Rotary? Your favorite Rotary moment or something that you did or like, and then something that we don't know about you. Then we're gonna share that in our newsletter and on our Facebook page and on our flyer on the table. And behind the scenes, you're gonna tell me what kind of music you like. So I can play it on this cool speaker that I don't really know how to use. And then that will be your kind of incentive that you're the member of the month. So I'm gonna have Neil, my little cousin elect, draw the first one. You're good. Hope it's not me. Bill Richard. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so this is kind of funny. I did give Dean a king card and Bill a king card because you know, like you're the king. So <laughs> Bill Richard is our number in the moment. He's going to love this. So that is my magic hat. So we'll be using this for other things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we kind of learn like who our new members are in a fun way. So that is what we'll be doing from now until next year. Uh, just some other things that we're we'll doing this year. Um, new member pinning with membership. We'll continue that tradition. Our Shark Tank project, that is going to start up. Um, we did uh, receive the matching district grant for $10,000 total. So Jenny, Angie, and I are going to be working on the Supplies for Success project, and we will need your help. Um, they'll be going shopping to get college supplies uh, this month and next month. So we'll be setting up some times for us to all go and do that. Um, if this is another thing we'll be continuing with the Shark Tank uh, projects. So kind of think about what you're going to do for next February. Uh, the, our polio um, program, we're going to work on doing our polio donation. I said it um, kind of higher, but we're going to work at that. Uh, we have a pension polio event. We have a uh, fencing for our attending. There's lots of ways that we can end polio by giving, so we're going to continue that throughout the year. Pints for Polio is going to be in February this year. It's going to be at Pearl Street Brewery. We're going to do a tour, and it's going to be a lot of fun because I don't have to do a lot because they'll do it for me. So that's cool. And we haven't been here since COVID. Like, who went when it was COVID when we sat on our couches and I hand delivered your beer at your door? <laughs> Alyssa. And I mean, it was, it was kind of fun. I, yeah, I just sat on my couch with the Zoom and drank all the beers myself. and. It was a great old time, but we may do. So now we're actually gonna go back there and go on a tour. We haven't done a tour in a long time and we did pretty well attended social. And remember that you can invite friends, coworkers, anyone that wants to check out these socials too. 
A little bit about the Rotary Foundation. Um, we're going to have, again, Dean and Marissa um, kind of touch on this every month just so that we can make sure that we're understanding how the foundation works. Um, a more on that in the coming months. Along with that is the Paul Harris recognition. Um, we just did a few that just got recognized. I want to continue that tradition so that, that more could be in that um, giving, you know, in their life. Um, so that part of my plan this year as well is to kind of get everyone to know what that means. The Rotary Action Plan. Uh, we have our strategic plan, so I'm following off of the main um, international plan of impacting, reaching, engaging, and adapting. A lot of this we are ready to, but we could also be better. So that's something that's important to think about. I broke it down. It's hard to read, but you'll get the point. Just kind of impacting that align with areas of focus that they reach. Um, embracing different diversity and equity and inclusion that you're trying to engage and break down the walls between um, participants and actively um, streamlining operations. So we we are like way beyond a lot of clubs that I've seen, but we always have room to improve. Uh, just everyone should know the Rotary areas of focus. I'll be trying to do those every month. Um, some of the things like this month is about maternal um, and child health. So kind of it, the theme kind of flows throughout the year in certain months. I I don't know if you have ever kept the theme every month, but trying to include these all within your year makes a really good presidency. So I'm going to try to touch on each one just so that we're working with that. Um, one thing I really am excited about um, for our education and literacy, whenever we have a speaker or a guest, I'm working with the library to get books that are donated that will put our recognition of the speaker in with our logo, and then the book is donated to the youth at the library versus I'm like, do they want our certificates? Do they want a pen? What do they want? So books are going to be given in our name with the speaker to the local library. So I thought it was pretty cool. And then environment, um, I hope we continue to do things at the greenhouse. And again, with the peace building of doing something with the peace school. Um, the, the next meeting will touch on the Rotary Friendship Exchange that I went on and Nathan and Jeremy. Um, but I thought this kind of like resonated with me was we friends away in every part of the world. Um, I didn't realize you know, how big the Rotary group is until you were actually like out there and realized there's so many of you everywhere. Um, we are having all of the people that I went with to the Philippines in September for um, a trip to Madison and to here. Uh, they're going to do all of October best things. So I might need help with that because they have never been to something like that. And um, they don't have wineries and a ton of beer and breweries type things there. Um, but they also are really curious to like, see how our clubs are run. They're going to come to our meeting or coming to downtown. And then they're going to kind of go to different locations of the across that week. So we're going to kind of learn more about what the friendship exchange is just so that people, if they're curious, would want to attend there. I kind of touched on this, the reaction group for peace, trying to do peace through service. That's important for the our president this year. So I kind of want to incorporate that. Um, our district governor, Todd, when he comes, he's going to talk about that. His two platforms are peace and sanitation. Um, we have done those sanitation projects in the past, so that would be something to keep in mind for future projects. With the Rotary Committees, um, so now touching on that, um, we're going to try to incorporate some um, committee meetings kind of quarterly just to make sure we're all staying on task. Uh, right now we have myself and Program Social and we're looking for more to join the social aspect. Uh, service is Jenny is leading that with Phil. Uh, foundation is Marissa and Dean. Membership is Neil and Nathan is going to be co-chair. Public image is Marissa, Ugly Sweater is Ashley, and then Mini Master is myself and Bill. And so we're always looking for people to join, um, just kind of reach out. We can be on more than one committee, and some of them you don't do a ton until like the Ugly Sweater happens. Then you're really busy, but it's really great to kind of see what each committee does and how it integrates into our club. And here's the Ugly Sweater, just stealing your artwork, Ashley. Some of the socials that we're going to do. So there will be some similar ones, but some new ones. Same with the service projects. I think Johnny will have some new ideas, and we'll just make sure that everyone gets to volunteer this year. Um, I 
I believe that we're still doing the, the Rotary Service Award. Uh, so that'll be quarterly, and then and the service committee will do the criteria for that. So along with the member of the month, we'll have four people during the year that'll receive the Rotary Service Award. Shark team to start putting your ideas. Um, this will happen in February. Uh, this year is our gear up project. In the past, we did some Huntley piece, the greenhouse build, and then um, the good fight. Uh, I also think we're going to kind of try to touch base with the good fight and then see the heavenly piece and try to do something with them. Um, we've had our, you know, involvement in the past with them, so it would be good to volunteer with the projects that we've already done versus jumping to the next. Um, just to have them kind of tell me get an overview of how we ways we can help. And finally, by the end of the year, you're all going to want to go to the international conference in Canada with me and Neil. Maybe and experience magic all around. It's a really great experience. So that will kind of be like I touched on the whole year. That seems really quick. So finally, um, I just want to leave you with an ever-changing world we need rotary to be irresistible. So I'm really gonna try to hone in on that throughout the year, make it fun, make it exciting, and make sure that our club is still going great. So that was kind of my walk. Well, did I do good? Oh wow. I really talked fast. <laughs> so that was just kind of the overview of the year um, with the theme, the magic of rotary. I just did the last year with the theme, which is kind of sad because I kind of like it. Uh, but um, yeah, does anyone have any questions? Laura? Did you get pins? Pins for the magic of rotary? Yeah. Oh, I have a whole purse of pins. <laughs> but I hope for everyone to hear that Mr. Governor thing. Oh, that's, that's not me. <laughs> I could have, I guess. So, like, just wondering where our where all your flair was. That'll be next year. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I have lots of flair, lots of outfits. Brandon. Are things tied to the stuff you're going to see? I think, I think from what maybe Jamie told me she's wrong, I read is that people are getting kind of confused between the theme and the regular Rotary International brand, and like that is there need to do the Rotary brand and the um, Magic of Excellence sort of. Simple excellence is the thing to be focusing on, not the theme, where people get confused between the two rules. Is that your take? Um, a little like backstory to share since I have time. I'm gonna sit. Okay, so the magic of Rotary was um, so each of the presidents come up with their theme, and when I read about it, um, Stephanie went to another country to do um, a water project. And she did one of the Walter water filters in this lady's house with her three kids and they're running all around. And she showed them how to use the filter. And this little kid kept grabbing her and said, show me that magic again. Because the filter was taking out all the dirty water and giving them clean water. And they thought it was magic. So that kind of was like, whoa, this is what my theme should be. So she's like, yeah, you know, I want people to believe in the magic, spread the magic, share the magic. <laughs> really use any verb. And Put it on her own, but I thought that was really cool because it is something that touched her life. And water projects and sanitation are really important to her. Yes, we got. If you want to come and hear me talk more, all year next week is my Philippines trip with the Singapore. I've already been home for a month, but it feels like so long ago. Um, so that's Stephanie and me at the Singapore conference. I snaked her in the hallway and said, "Hey, I need a picture. My name's Stephanie. Yours is Stephanie. That's cool." And hopefully she'll remember me. Uh, so that's next week's meeting. Uh, so finally, oh, I have one more magic trick. Pretty cool. Okay. So the five way test under my magic blanket, I got this magic cool sweatshirt. So I can just wear this anytime to do the five way test and be gone. <laughs> There's only 50 people in the world that have this, and I'm one of them. So I feel like I can wear this out, right? <laughs> Look like a soccer star, Laura. Yeah. Bowler. All right. So that's kind of the conclusion of our meeting. So if you want to see me do the five way test of the things we uh, of the things you think, say, or do, is it the truth? Is it a good all concerned? Will it hold good will and friendships? So with that, the end of our first meeting of Rotary Year is done.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to come. I, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to come here and I'm always back. Good job, Stuff. Oh, she could hear. Good to see you guys. Yeah, good to see you. Well done. Very well done. Very, very well done. That is a beautiful third house. Say so your third or fourth house, Marissa. Now. I'm not quite sure. Uh, life has been really good to you. That's really fantastic. <laughs> if only I was the person on the title. But I'm not. Uh, this is her up at Hatfield. Oh. We were up here for the fourth, and I had to run home yesterday for something, and then came back super early this morning, and heading back home tomorrow. But probably will work up here next week too, just for change of scenery. Gosh, I guess you'll have to do that. Yep, yep that <laughs> sounds like that's a good way of doing it. Really good way of doing it. No, I love. I do love Steph's energy. Her energy is fantastic. Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. She's uh, <laughs> It's her, her being so stoked is contagious. You can't even be a block <laughs> like me when you've got someone with that much energy. It's really cool. Yeah. Looks like Sam, we might get disconnected. So if we do, it's good to see you guys. Yeah, good to see everybody.